Hello, I'm Dave Caldwell with your SUV news break for Thursday, July 31st. Santa Clarita residents should expect to see their water use being restricted by the end of August. Water officials have drafted a water action plan to comply with state requirements. If residents do not follow the specific restrictions laid out in the plan, they'll receive two written warnings. On the, on the third infraction, a fine of $50 per day will be issued for the first infraction. That fine will increase by $50 for each additional infraction up to the maximum $500 per day. Residents will be prohibited from hosing down driveways and sidewalks. They may be forced to turn off their decorative water fountains and they will not be allowed to wash their cars unless the hose is fitted with a nozzle that allows it to stop running when not in use. There will be a public hearing to discuss adoption of the plan on August 13th. A Valencia sex offender facing the possibility of life in prison if convicted took a last minute plea deal Thursday, according to prosecutors. Days before he was set to go to trial, 71-year-old Yale Yerman accepted a 12-year prison sentence for allegations he filmed Santa Clarita Valley children without permission. Yerman had 19 previous strikes on his record, all of which he received from a 1987 case when the laws for sex crimes were more lenient. He received a 30-year sentence for those crimes and served 15. He had been out of court approximately 10 years when the most recent allegations were made. Prescription drug abuse will be the main topic of discussion at the fourth annual Heroin Kills Symposium. Hosted by the city of Santa Clarita, the free event will feature a panel of experts at the Santa Clarita Activity Center on August 27th. According to a press release sent out by the city, prescription drug abuse has become a national epidemic claiming more lives than heroin and cocaine combined. The Pain Kills Prescription to Addiction Symposium will take a proactive approach in addressing drug issues among young people. Both teens and parents are invited. To learn more about the event, tune in to This Week in Santa Clarita on SCV TV Friday morning at 10 a.m. or Saturday evening at 7.30. Six Flags Magic Mountain officials are giving 24 lucky roller coaster enthusiasts a chance to say goodbye to Colossus this coming week. In honor of the wooden coaster's 36-year history, the park is hosting a 36-hour coaster marathon before the ride is closed for good. Two dozen people will be given the opportunity to ride Colossus for a day and a half on August 4th and 5th. All of the riders will receive a Six Flags 2015 season pass and are encouraged to post to social media about their experience. The winner of the best post will receive four park gold passes, good at all Six Flags parks around the country. The riders will also receive meals throughout the event and are allowed to bring a support person. Colossus, which is one of the park's original coasters, is set to close for good on August 16th. Football season is about to arrive. SCV TV's 2014 Santa Clarita High School football preview show presented by Nissan of Valencia will premiere Friday night at 9 o'clock. The one-hour show will feature players and coaches from the six Foothill League teams plus Santa Clarita Christian and Trinity Classical Academy. If you can't catch the show on Friday night, it will repeat Saturday at 8 a.m. And, and 6 p.m. and Sunday at 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Last year's football preview was nominated for a Los Angeles area Emmy under the category of sports special. Again, the premiere of the 2014 Santa Clarita High School football preview show is Friday night, 9 o'clock, exclusively here on SCV TV and SCVTV.com. Turning to weather, triple digit temperatures in Santa Clarita Thursday with a high of 101 degrees. Summer is in full effect and more hot weather is in store over the next several days. On Friday, temperatures are likely to reach 100 degrees. Highs into the upper 90s are expected Saturday and Sunday, with plenty of sunshine sticking around through the start of next week. Now let's turn it over to Stephen K. Peoples for a look at entertainment. Stephen? Well, thanks, Dave. A you know, smoking hot weekend of music is cooking in the Santa Clarita Valley for those of us who don't flee to the coast for the Ventura County Fair. Now, Saturday at Rivendale Park in Towsley Canyon off the old road, you can help celebrate the second annual International Blues Music Day. The band lineup features the Chris Banta Blues Band, Tony Dodd and Southbound Blues, Chuck Strong and SRBQ, Fortune and Michael Stanton. 
The Mini Blues Fest will also have food trucks, t-shirts, bands, CDs, and merchandise, dancing, raffles, silent auctions, and more. International Blues Music Day is a presentation of the SCV Blues Society and LA Summerfest at Rivendale, and sponsored by AM 1220 KHTS. Gates open at 4.30 and admission is free for all ages, but it's a fundraiser for the Blues Society and Summerfest. They're both nonprofits, so feel free to donate. Over at Central Park in Saugus on Saturday night, the city of Santa Clarita's latest concert in the park features Hotel California. The tribute band plays Eagles hits like Take It Easy, Heartache Tonight, and Hotel California, plus favorite solo hits by real Eagles Don Henley, Glenn Fry, and Joe Walsh. Hotel California checks into Central Park at 7 p.m., but get there early to grab your spot. It's also free for all ages. And on a programming note, don't miss songwriter and singer Michael Richard and his funky blues band, One Bluzo. Saturday night at 10 on SCV's House Blend, hosted by yours truly. The show includes the world premiere of I Lost My Key to the Highway, a song on One Bluzo's just released House Money album. That's House Blend, Saturday night at 10 on SCV TV and streaming everywhere at scvtv.com. And you'll find lots more local entertainment news 24 7 at hometownstation.com, scvnews.com, and my blog, stephenkpeoples.com. That's what's bumping on the SCV Entertainment Beat. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Stephen. That's all for now. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Caldwell.